This is Kim Sullivan and I'm really excited today to show you guys one of our newest listings. I am right now in a really, really small street. I got the property right here behind me. It is a townhouse. It's a middle house, but we're in a really great location. So we're about six minutes to uh, Heinerberg or at least the elementary school is what I kind of looked up here for the address. And we are about 15 minutes to Clay. Getting down, down uh, downtown Wiesbaden is probably about a eight minute drive um, so we're really really good location it's a really nice neighborhood you can hear there's not too many sounds I do have a neighbor working in the yard in front of me um, but he's relatively quiet right now right here we have the parking space so let's go ahead let's go inside and check out this property so my favorite favorite moment of seeing any property whether we get the contract or not is always this first time you get to see the property um, so today is my first time actually seeing the inside of this property right there. You saw the guest toilet here our entrance Then we come over here and we have the kitchen So, um, I didn't quite figure out how to turn on all the lights in the kitchen I got a couple but those ones up there I didn't quite get so we do have a fridge. It is kind of a little bit bigger than So it's a typical this is typical German size, but we do have so say the freezer at the bottom so I know Americans were always a big fan of our fridges and whatnot. So you do have, so to say, a little bit of space over here where you maybe can break out, maybe put like an ice chest or something. Like I said here, the, the front entrance again. So we do have a couple of little cabinets to put your stuff down on. All right. Check out this living room. So we do have a little yard with it. We do have the electric shutters. This property is approximately 179 square meters. Let's go ahead, let's take a second go out here. One of the things I do love about some of these German doors is they do have these little latches and they open up on both sides. And I have a couple windows open, so I gotta be careful that I don't slam these windows shut. So I'll go ahead and I'll close these. Like I said, it's just a teeny yard, enough of a space to, to kind of grill with. Nice thing is we do have, so to say here, the awning that folds out. So you can sit out here um, quiet and peace. And we do have here the extra cabinet for storing like some, some gardening items. All right, so I think I'm gonna take you down in the basement this time first before we go upstairs. So give me a second, let's get down there. All right, so I've just gotten down these stairs. There's a couple rooms going on here. Here we kind of have like a, a little boiler room, you know, with a little sink. And it kind of extends back here. So I wanted to get a little bit of light going on. So this is kind of like just like a little hobby room i guess work room that's kind of sitting back here we do have so see the high speed internet going on it's said sink so you guys can't feel the temperature difference down here but it is really cool down here i mean i personally i would make this my bedroom area so i mean like i said we are in the basement but we do have a shower we have the sauna and then this thing over here that looks like a cabinet <laughs> check this out i open this up there's a toilet in there. Go figure, right? We get some lights? Yeah, we do have some lights. Comes with a fan. You know, there's no window in there. But just to give you an idea. And then, you know, they really thought of it well because, you know, it's hot this summer. So we do have the down here kind of like a bedroom or it is set up like a bedroom. So and then you have all these cabinets in here, these wardrobes. So, all right, let's go ahead, let's go on up to the first upper level. All right, so I've just made it up those stairs. So we got basements, we got the ground floor, now we're on the first upper level. Here we have bedroom number one. It's not that big, but you know, it's big enough for like a kid's room or an office. Bedroom number two. Again, here we do have the electric shutters. Bedroom number three, I would say these rooms are all about equal size. And the bathroom. So we do have the big sink. Nice tub. Toilet. And here the shower. One of the things I do want to point out again here with this video is you notice, the toilet doesn't touch the floor. Americans, hang your toilets, it looks so much nicer. And this is a dead giveaway that our water lines were done recently. All right, let's go up one more level. All right, so now we're at the very, very top level here and we have one big room up here. So we do have here like the cabinets built in. It's a little bit of a slant, but you know, the nice thing is the ceiling does open up here in the middle quite well. 
So we don't have any attic storage, but therefore we have extra storage up here. And we do have the glass door that you can shut for additional privacy. So out on this level, not all the windows have the shutters. So these ones over here, they don't, but they seem to be the only two windows that do not have the electric shutters. And then surprisingly here on the slant one, we do have the electric shutter. And they're all just with remote controls. All the ones on the other levels can be set as timers. So here we also have another bathroom. So. Nice. All right, well, that's about it for this level. I showed you, or uh, this level, this property. So I showed you pretty so far. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. And if you're interested, contact me per email or per phone. I wish you a wonderful day. Enjoy the weekend.